out here today. John boat instead of the kayak. It's really windy. Not where I'm at right now. It's protected, but uh, it's really windy. It's like 15 mile per hour sustained winds with like 25 mile per hour gusts, probably close to it. So I'm in the boat today, so the kayak. I wanted to fish. series all right well that's not a bad one dude looks like a freaking like walleye at first I, there's no walleye in this lake i'm i don't even know what a bass looks like anymore it's a good one though ouch finally it took freaking long enough Perfect hook set. That's the first Curado K fish. Alright. All right. Not a bad little one. Probably about two or three pounds. I'm going to put them in a well and uh, hopefully catch another so I can take a cool picture. But uh, that's not a bad little fish right there. Probably two, three pounder. Caught it on a little trick worm with an eighth ounce tungsten weight. I, uh, to say the least, I was not expecting that, but it's not a bad fish. Pretty, pretty fish, that's for sure. So, first fish of the day. It took long enough. Put it in the well, get a cool picture, and then we'll release them. Alright, so real quick, little recap what I was doing, because I didn't explain it very well. Just throwing this right here, little just trick worm with a uh, eighth ounce tungsten weight on 15 pound Seaguar Red Label fluorocarbon, 7.4 Corrado K. It was my first fish in the Corrado K. Handled it like well. First bass. I caught it pickle too. Um, but that handled it really well. Uh, throwing the seven foot medium heavy HPT around some brush and stuff some wood and just try and get a few fish in the boat that's my first one today hopefully we can catch a few more i just got another bite over there so we'll see what happens
on it. He's on a bed, I think. Look at his tail. His tail's a little beat up. That's not a bad little one. I mean, I don't even know if he's 12. Phoenix Baits, vibrating jig, green pumpkin, dark green pumpkin, 3 8 ounce, with the Zacco trailer. That's a good little fish. <laughs> Dude, this front coming through has them fired up. Clearly, we're going to put him in the well. We're going to get a good picture of you. Man, I wish this was a Wednesday night tournament. big just all right real quickly before I run out of time because the sky's looking a little dark one well, let me turn that off so you can hear me I'm going to uh, get away on these fish real quick I don't have my scale in the boat so I'm gonna have to just use this one but uh, we're gonna get Quick little weight on these guys. All right, I think this is the. I think this is the second one. Ow! Bud. Hey, I just want to get a weight on you. Ouch. 3.3. .3. I think this is the second one. Chatterbait fish? Or no, this is the first one. I noticed by where the hook marks at. Yeah, that's the first one. Alrighty. Yeah, that's the chatterbait fish. I think. Two point eight two. So for two fish we have six point twelve. Yeah, I think that's a chatterbait fish. I don't know. Either way though, these fish are feisty, dude. They freaking cut my hands all up. I want a picture. God dang man, there's no need for that. All right, we're gonna get back to fishing now. I just wanted to weigh in real quick before we run out of time. All right, last spot. Uh, I got 
15 to 30 minutes. Uh, the sky's getting a lot darker and I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to hit this all this wood with a chatter bait or a bladed jig and uh, see what happens. so I gotta hurry this up but uh this is the first one right here a little trick worm with a 1 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight links to everything will be down in the description the uh, weights there's also a code use NCF 15 it'll be on the screen right now and you can get 15% off your order of swagger tackle tungsten weights best tungsten on the market throwing a seven foot medium heavy Enigma HPT rod uh, it's great for you know jigs um, Carolina rigs, Texas rigs. Uh, it's an all around versatile rod, spinner baits, chatter baits, everything like that. Great, great, great rod. Um, that's my go to for about everything. So, uh, next is the uh, 3 8 ounce uh, green, dark green pumpkin uh, Phoenix vibrator jig with a electric shad. Yamamoto Zako Zako. I don't know how you say it. I think it's I think it's Zako actually. Uh, but I was throwing that. I just heard thunder, so I need to hurry this up. But I was throwing that little bait right there on the uh, 7.2 heavy uh, crankbait rod from Enigma. This is a great rod for chatter baits, uh, spinner baits, square bills, underspins, anything. This is just a great all around moving bait rod. I use it for majority of my moving baits, but it's a killer for chatter baits and spinner baits. They also have the new Atomic 29s coming out here soon, so make sure and stay tuned for that. I'll probably get a couple, and I will do reviews of them. Um, oh yeah, I was throwing 15 pound Seagar Red Label Fluoro on that one, and on this rod I'm throwing 12. Uh, I use 12 for majority of moving baits, but if I'm throwing a bladed jig or a spinner bait, I'd usually rather throw 15, but I've been using this for uh, I usually use this for deep cranks and stuff too. And summer's coming around and deep cranky season's about to start. So it's got 12 pair on it right now. That's the only two things I caught fish on. I got some bites on a drop shot. I uh, I threw a square bill, but other than that, that's the two things I caught fish on today. So it was a fun little day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos of me in the boat, um, who knows, I might do them. The only reason I came out today in the boat because I wanted to fish and it was way too windy to uh, get in the kayak. So I figured I'd take the boat out. I'll probably be in the boat again tomorrow. So we'll see if I catch anything. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Again, 15% uh, off code to the weights is down in the description below. And there's a link. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.